What's up you guys, my name is Aubrey and this is my channel and today we're going to be talking about investing and more particularly we're going to be answering the question of if you haven't invested in the market thus far during this market crash, have you missed your chance and is it too late to make any sort of substantial return on a stock given today's climate and the recent increase that we've seen in the market as a whole. So let's get started. Over the last few years, we have seen an incredibly strong economy, which has shown to be an incredibly big win for the stock market. And as a result, we've been seeing new highs on an almost weekly basis for indexes and individual companies. But as a result of this, a lot of stocks were incredibly overvalued and it was hard to get a good value on any stock that was worth investing in. But then the 2020 stock market crash happened whenever COVID-19 hit and that changed everything. And suddenly all of these overvalued companies became a bargain and it was like a Black Friday for investors. Whenever COVID-19 hit and whenever the effects of COVID-19 really started to sink into the US economy, we saw a decrease in the NASDAQ, the S&P 500 and the Dow of more than 30% over the course of what seemed to be a few days. And these big market indexes weren't the only ones affected. In fact, companies like Boeing, Carnival Cruises, Norwegian Cruise Line, American Airlines, Delta, Cinemark, and literally hundreds of others saw a decrease of between 30 and 70% of their share price in a matter of a couple of weeks. But as a result of these incredibly significant and almost instantaneous decreases in stock price with some of the biggest companies in the world, investors now finally had a chance to get in on these huge companies at an undervalued price. So as a result, many investors, including myself, have been absolutely shoveling money into the market and to different stocks and to different companies that are undervalued that will see an ultimate increase once the economy and once the world returns to normal post COVID-19. But as the world is slowly starting to return to normal and as people are returning to work and returning to their normal day-to-day -day lives, we are seeing a significant increase in the market as a result, almost to the point where it's an unjustified valuation. And a lot of that increase has happened in the last few days. In fact, last week I created a video talking about my investment portfolio with TD Ameritrade. And at the time that I recorded that video, just four days ago, my portfolio was worth just over $14,000. And as I sit here today, four days later, without adding any more positions, without depositing any more money, that exact same portfolio is worth over $21,000, which is absolutely insane in itself. But then all of the significant increases that we've seen over the last few months and more significantly the last few days begs the question of, is it too late for you to get in on the stock market and start investing in the stock market right now so that you can capitalize off of the 2020 crash? And my answer to that question is absolutely not. It is not too late. Is it too late to make a 300% return on investment in a matter of a couple of months? Probably, and chances of you making a two to 300% return short term is quite low. But that doesn't mean that you can still find some extremely solid companies that are really great investments that are incredibly undervalued. So let me give you guys a few examples of this. So if we look at Wynn Resorts, the ticker symbol WYNN, you will see that right before the crash, the stock price was at about $135 per share. And at the lowest point in the crash, it was sitting at about $50 a share. And as we sit here today, it is at $105 per share. Another example is the Walt Disney Company. If you look at the Walt Disney Company's stock price right before the crash, it was hovering at about $141 per share. At its lowest point, it was sitting at about $85 a share, and it's currently sitting at a stock price of $127 per share. And the fact of the matter is, is that Disney parks are opening back up next month, and with that, you can expect to see some sort of increase in the process. And for one last example, let's look at Halliburton. So Halliburton, right before the crash, was at a stock price of roughly $22 per share. At its very bottom, at the peak of the crash, it was at $4 per share, and now it's sitting at $15 per share. And even though with Halliburton, you won't be able to see the huge increases that we've seen over the last few weeks, you can still expect to see some sort of increase in stock price that could carry you to that $22 per share price that it was at before COVID by seeing an increase in travel, an increase in people traveling to work via a car, increase in transportation, and so on. Now, these are just three of the many examples that exist out there that show that even with the extreme volatility, even with the increases that we've seen in the market over the last few weeks, the stock market and a lot of companies out there are still undervalued and there is still money to be made with the increases that will come as the economy improves, as the world returns to normal, and as travel resumes.
But then that brings me to my final point, which is the importance of buying and holding and having a long-term investment strategy. I understand that during a market crash, during a recession, during times of extreme volatility, that it is incredibly hard to invest with a clear state of mind. It's hard to not let your emotions get the best of you and to not be upset with different trades that you make, the timing of your trades, and the decisions that you make as an investor. But if you have the strategy of simply buying and holding and investing long term, it really kind of takes those little emotions and those little feelings out of the equation. Because at the end of the day, if you invest in companies that you believe in, if you invest in companies that have strong fundamentals and that have a strong future COVID aside, then you will be able to weather out any storms, whether it's volatility, whether it's market crashes like what we just saw, or whether it's extreme increases that have absolutely no basis behind them like what we just saw this past week. So if you guys are interested in investing right now and getting into the market, then I would highly encourage you guys to do that because I think that right now is a great time to get in on incredibly strong companies at a really undervalued price. But with that, I think it's as equally as important to understand that buying and holding and investing long term is the strategy that is going to win every single time. And if you invest, make sure that you understand that stocks go down and stocks go up and it's out of your control and you need to try your best to get your emotions out of the equation altogether. If you guys decide that you do want to open up an investment account, make sure to use my Weeble referral link down below. If you sign up using my referral link for a Weeble account, then you will get two free stocks and I will get two free stocks whenever you sign up. And if you have any comments, if you have any questions, if you have any kind of remarks about what your thoughts are on the current state of the market, then make sure to comment below and I will make sure to respond to every single comment. I would be interested to hear what y'all's thoughts are. Is the market overvalued? What are your thoughts on this incredibly high increase that we saw this past week? And do you think that the stock market will fall back down to kind of more appropriate levels given where the current state of the economy is? I want to hear about it. So make sure to comment. And while you're at it, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.